across the day, cloud technology and Internet of Things have been a crucial part in modern life. Where to learn and how to master our skills is a central question. Our channel is created to share the knowledge and support learning with Google Cloud Technology and Certification Examination, and so much more. The target of this video is to show you how you can learn one but get two Google Cloud Certification together. By saying that, I refer to CCP Associate Cloud Engineer and CCP Professional Cloud Architect. In my case, I have achieved the first Google Engineering Certification in April 2021, and only one month later, I achieved the second certification. Even though by that time, Google have updated their use case as well as their question for the architect exam. So how? If I can do that, for sure you can do that as well. In this video, I will show you why these two certifications should come together, what kind of material I was using for learning, and finally, review each popular learning source, making it easier for you to choose the best fit learning source. Let's start with why. If you go to cloud.google.com slash certification, you will see all the available certifications there which divide in three categories, foundational, associate and professional. Today, I will focus only on cloud engineer and cloud architect. Why cloud engineer focus more on technology detail, for example, common line, configuration, and setup? The architect certification is more focused on the use case, the concept, and therefore the question with architect certification also longer with really long context. However, both cloud engineering and architect have same focus on the understanding of the different product and service provided by CCP and what makes them different from each other. Taking the example of plural side, you will see that the cost of architect and engineering having the same sub cost which share the same background knowledge, for example, core infrastructure and infrastructure foundation. So this really proves the same knowledge will be shared and will be used for both certifications. To pass the exam, there are two steps that you must always do. Number one is learning, and number two is perform some practice exam and question. So what could be the material for learning step? You can find it in QA or plural side. The point is, here you can find quite same content for two courses, engineering and architect in these two platform as well. And please do not forget to perform some quick lab to enhance your practice knowledge. Secondly, for all of this, it will provide you good for foundation knowledge, but it will not be enough for your exam, so performing the second step, practice exam, is always needed. For practice exam and question, you can find it in various platforms like Udemy exam topic or Google exam question. So for me, I think it could be sufficient already just to perform the exam question in some free sources like exam topic and don't need to, re to really pay for the other uh, required payment form. And secondly, while performing this question, you can start to dig in further information from Google official document to explain the knowledge and prepare for the other question as well. Let us start to reviewing some learning and question platform. First of all, I will merge QA and BlueSide together because I see the similarity in this. So what could be the advantage of these two platforms? I see that first of all, it's including not only the training courses, but also the question. Both of them are available for you to link together. And for all the documentation, all the training material, as well as the question are really in good quality, well wording and logical question. All the answer is correct and the explanation is clear. There are also mock-up tests for pre uh, for third pre and final exam, and also there are small short quiz for learning as well. But on the other side, it requires you to pay, and there are also not many practice questions there. Next, Udemy. So here, there are quite good number of mock-up tests with well-wording explanation most of the time, and the training also available depending on which courses that you choose. However, it also requires you to pay per cost and sometimes there are already the duplication, outdated or wrong question. Because the questions coming from most individuals 
pull collect information from somewhere else so you have to really read the review before selecting what kind of course that you buy next is exam topic this is really a popular platform for everyone who now learning google so this is free and it includes wide range of questions and the most benefit of that is the open discussion that exam topic provides allow every learner to interact and exchange knowledge to each other however on the other side there are no mock-up tests there are no training and the wording in the question sometimes confuse and also provide the wrong answer however if you go to the open discussion that i mentioned earlier you definitely can find the understanding of the question as well as the correct answer there Finally, VCP exam question is also free, including wide range of questions. And the question is also with good wording and less confusion. And most of the time, the answer is correct. On the other side, there are no explanation for the answer and also there are no mock-up tests. So are you ready for the exam? The challenge here is always that we never know when we are ready for exam why there are too much information outside here to learn. So there are some tips for you. You can get rough scope of the exam by doing the practice question, which are available in different platform I have mentioned above. And while doing the practice exam, please do not try to achieve 100% of the score by having 75 or 80% is already good enough and give you some indication that you are already ready to go. We will continue uploading more video about ZCB exam, so please subscribe to our channel to get notified. Or if you have any question or need help, then please leave the comment.